Darkshot VR is an archery arcade style survival game where you fight waves of enemies coming at you from all sides. The setting is set in a cyberpunk sci-fi theme, kind of futuristic, but you're using a bow and arrow. The main point is just to survive as long as you can while you have a lot of enemies coming at you. It's again, not like we want to simulate the coolest, most realistic archery simulation. It's more of we want to shoot things and the Vive has two controllers, so we know we could do a cool bow and arrow feel, make the player feel like Legolas in the future. One of the things that was hardest was uh, trying to figure out uh, how to test everything properly. You have to get all the stuff set up, put the headset on, look through and figure it out. It, may, it makes testing everything a lot slower because you can only have one person doing it at a time. It is definitely fun to develop when you want to play your own game. You, you actually have to get up, put the headset on, and do the thing, and that's really satisfying, even when you're dealing with like bugs for, you know, five, six hours. <laughs>So my buddy came to me telling me he really wants to buy a Vive. And I'm like, okay, why do you want to buy a Vive? And uh, he said, well, I kind of want you to be my producer for this game that is like an archery simulation thing. So I was just laying down one day and I thought, you know, Hunger Games is pretty cool. What if I turned in that idea where uh, Katniss walks into this uh, room and picks up her bow and just starts shooting the holograms to showcase her skills? I'm just like, yeah, let's turn that into a game. See, last semester when uh, we were winding down, turning in our projects, Chris came up to me and asked me if I wanted to work on a VR project. And I said, sure, I had no idea what the game was gonna be. I didn't know until school started um, what we were exactly what we were doing, but I was on board. We wanted to take this scene from The Hunger Games and make that into a game in VR. That was his pitch, and I said, okay, that sounds super cool, but you don't have a game here yet. So I sat down and thought about it for a while, and eventually I came back to him saying that I had some ideas and I wanted to go with it, considering it was probably my only opportunity I'd ever get to work in VR. It's super new, we don't know you know, about the Vive a lot, we don't know about Unreal a lot, so we just sit down and we, we go over like what, what we're all doing and how to improve on it and how to fix certain things in Blueprints or how to fix certain things in C++. So, so far on the project, I've been making a lot of particles. I've been doing a lot of uh, scripting of effects. The actual buildings and scenery around you are generated after the level starts. So the player loads in and the actual buildings will all generate in this cool pixelated digital fashion as if the world around you were a simulation. It's new, it's inventive, and it's something that people enjoy playing. And so if we already have a product this early on that people enjoy um, trying out and testing and giving us feedback on, then we know we're doing something right and we want to keep making it better. We're like super excited for it to be done next, next spring and to actually like have people play the final, final version of the game.